안녕하세요. 니키입니다. And welcome to Korean Lesson 1, Introductions. Now, I apologize to those of you who have been watching my Korean lessons for the past few months. My YouTube account was deleted because of a video slideshow I made of BOA to one of her songs. Apparently, the company did not like that. So they deleted it. So anyway, let's get started. I would like to welcome you to your first Korean lesson. And this one will be how to introduce yourself. Um, so let's start with how to say, my name is blah, 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 or so-and-so. So to say, uh, Hello in Korean. You say, I know how to say yo. I know how to say yo. <coughs> Pardon me, I have a little cough today. I know how to say yo, Nick Imida. Tom Pikesimida. Now, I will slow all this down and tell you what each word means. I know how to say yo is the traditional way to say hello every day. Hello. Anoseyo, anoseyo. Um, and so you know my name is Nick. Anoseyo, Nick. Imida. Uh, imida is the verb to be. So basically what I'm saying, hello Nick, I am. We can interpret it as Nick, I am. I am Nick. Tom Pekesimida literally means the first time to meet. But in this context, just interpreted as nice to meet you. So, I know the yo, Nikki Mida. Tom Pekesimida. And then the person will respond, I know the yo. And then whatever their name is, imida. Like I said, imida is to to be. But we interpret it as in this context. It has different meanings in different contexts. But in this context, we interpret it as I am. I am Nick. I am Roger. I am whatever your name is. So, I know the yo, Nicky me da, I'm forgetting me da. I am Nick, and uh, then you can ask someone if they are doing well. I want to fit as much as I can into this lesson. So, the way to do that is, Chal is so so yo. Chale is also your just means, have you been well? How are you? Chale is also yo. And if you notice the rhyming intonation <coughs> in my voice makes it a question. Now, I know this is the first lesson I made the first lesson months ago, and I made it real short. So what I'm trying to do is to fit as much as I can into one lesson. So, Chal is also yo. Are you doing well? And I will get more into this in a later lesson. But for right now, just think of it as, how are you? Are you doing well? So you can say, I know how they are, Nikki Mida, or whatever your name is. If you want to use my name, that's absolutely fine for practice. Anoideyo, Nikki Mida, Tom Pukesimida. So that's Tom Pukesimida. I mean, Anoideyo, Nikki Mida. Tom Pukesimida. I had to kind of think it up in my head because I kind of forgot. Um, let's see what else. 
Uh, I really don't want to get into how you say where are you from into lesson two, but I will teach you how to say I am American. Just really quick, I won't get into too many details until lesson number two. It's really a drag that I have to start this over because you guys have learned so much and I feel really bad that we're having to do this all over again. But anyway, to say I am American, Chonin, Migu, Salam, Emida, Chonin, I. And that's another thing I want to teach you. Cha is I. Nim is a subject marking particle. So just think of it as I. I being the subject. I, cha, nim, subject marking particle. Migu, American, Saddam, person, imida, am. Chonib, Migu, Saddam, imida. So there you have it. I am American and nice to meet you in Korean. Now I know this first lesson is kind of short. I just wanted to get these back up on YouTube. And I apologize for the, to those of you who had been watching these videos. And I appreciate it. Please continue posting comments and suggestions. And I will get these up as quickly as I can. Um, so I will now teach you how to say goodbye because I will be saying this a lot in the lessons. Just the quick way and then I'll get into further detail in another lesson. Anihi keze yo. Anihi keze yo. In a later lesson I will get into the details of what the word actually means and there is another way to say goodbye but I just want to say kamsamida thank you and anihi kezuyo see you next time everybody